Cunningham because that first to second year, you know this, it can be very tough because now teams can scout you. Mm -hmm. They know what to expect. So what are you going to do to your point of asking him, what is he working on? And I love that he said that three-point shot because if he can add that consistently, I think it makes him even more dangerous than he already is. And he will. The one thing I tell people all the time is that the one skill set that every NBA player improves upon is shooting. Mm -hmm. Because that's the one thing you do every day. Even on the days you don't practice, right. you get shots up. And I think he's a guy that's going to emphasize that. And the other thing I loved about what he says, you know, I want to work on cutting down my turnovers. Because it's when you're a guy that's a high volume, high usage, excuse me, player, you're going to be the point of emphasis of the opposing defense. Right. So, therefore, you're going to have to play under duress oftentimes and still be able to be efficient. And I have every reason to believe that Cade Cunningham's going to be able to do that single. I think he is a special talent and chance. I, I tell you what, i got to give the Pistons a lot of credit. Their roster move, like, they are, they kind of exemplify their, 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 their epitomize their city mm-hmm. and they are. They're tough, they're physical, they got after it defensively, they played cl- close to 500 basketball yep. after the All-Star break, so a lot of reasons to be optimistic if you're a Detroit Pistons fan this upcoming season. Ball out of bounds, it will stay with the Pacers. And you see, this is their roster when you look at this. And then also inside, like Isaiah Stewart, Luca Garza, Nerlens Noel, who's trying to kind of tweak and make another name for himself and revamp his career himself. Yeah, and then remember, they made the trade during the season for Marvin Bagley, mm-hmm. you know, former uh, uh, lottery pick who's got oodles of talent, physical gifts. I think he will also fit in very well with this Pistons team. So I'm excited to see them and, and what they can become because they do have the makings for a team that in the, in the near future I think is going to be a playoff participant. Yeah, Bagley, second pick in that 2018 draft. And it's you're not just adding talent. You're adding young talent to a young roster and, and Cade said it, they're hungry. Yeah. And sometimes when you look at young rosters who have talent, are hungry, they can be some of the most dangerous teams if they're not in the running for the playoffs or in this situation, a play-in situation. But you look at the East landscape, it could really be anyone's game because you don't know what's happening in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. You don't know what other teams – right now, the only kind of situation you know that's kind of staying with the talent is Boston and Milwaukee. Yeah, well, I would throw Philly in there <laughs> and, Philly, and, yes. and, and potentially Miami, but you're right. But what, what's gonna, what you're going to see this upcoming season in that Eastern Conference is that the bottom is going to rise. Yes. And we ju- you're seeing it here with this Pistons team. I think the Orlando Magic are going to be a much better team. Remember, they're going to get Markel Fultz back yep. for a full season healthy. They're going to bring back Jonathan Isaac, hopefully healthy. Um, and you see Jalen Rose, Detroit's finest, Southwest in the house, sitting Second there hanging out with Coach Casey. And so, like, yeah, those teams, and, and you saw a little bit of the second half season, they're not going to be gimme wins. Right. Like, because I think those gonna teams make are going to work. They're going to compete. For the plan. I, I really believe that Charlotte, another team, that new coach, they bring in Steve Clifford. Indiana as well, too. Yeah, in Indiana. They're going to be emphasizing defense there and in Charlotte. So uh, it, it, it's the league is going to be about as healthy as we've seen from top to bottom. You know, you've always had good depth. But now when you can start getting those teams down towards the bottom of the standings showing tremendous improvement and having reasons to be optimistic, I think that bodes well for our game. Bernard can't get that to go. Jalen Rose, part of that Fab Five. You were part of UNLV. Yeah, I was talking that because people like, man, who, 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 who do, is better? How do you compare those well, I, you It's know different, what? It's well, different no, eras. No, no, let me, I'm going to tell you how you compare it. First thing you got to ask yourself is, how many, did they win a championship? No. I'm just, it's a yes, no answer, man. Just, just let me get the answer to that question. You got a point there. Okay. No, they did not. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's <laughs> not, because Jalen might do. Jalen went, so my, my backcourt mate, Anderson Hunt, is a Southwest, went to Southwest High School as well. Mm-hmm. And that's where Jalen, they have tremendous history. I remember when we played Michigan State uh, it, at the uh, Palace in Auburn Hills. That was our junior year. And we went to go watch Jalen play when he was still in high school, who was a terrific player. Here you 
take a look at the replay. How about this block? Dude, he's had a couple nice blocks here in this game. Oh, that's speaking of block. Little old block party we having out here right now. Hey, one thing we said about this Pistons team is they're going to be gritty and make yeah. it work. They might be looking at this deficit like, okay, this might be done for us, but we're going we're gonna to yeah. work. We're going to outwork you at the very least. And they, they are working and competing. And, and, and uh, some of it is they don't have, again, they don't have Jay Nivey. Like that, right. that changes a lot of what you can do when you take that type of talent off the floor. And you can just see it with this Pacers group. They're just a little bit further along in terms of the chemistry. Uh, they, they've got a better flow in how they play. They've got guys that can function in the right positions. For Detroit, you know, they don't really have a natural point guard with this group. So that oftentimes makes it harder for you to get into an offensive flow. And that's an example of it right there. Jackson on the move. Oh, that's a goodness hammer. Gracious. Looked like he went off on some pogo sticks there. That guy has some athletic ability. I'm out here looking for the trampoline. I was literally like, I, I, I didn't think he was going to be able to get up that high. Made my knees hurt <laughs> watching that. Look, I mean, goodness. I thought he lost. Like, you know what? He might have taken a little too soon. Young fella had bad intentions. He's letting, he's giving notice here at the Summer League. Buying a car from Vroom is so easy. All you need is a phone and a finger. Just go to Vroom.com, scroll through thousands of cars, then tap to buy. That's it. No sales speak, no wasted time. Go to Vroom.com and pick your favorites. So many new things to protect in life. A little care helps to keep things all right. Nationwide is on your side. GoDaddy lets you sell from your online store or in person and manage it all from one spot. Trusted by over 20 million customers worldwide, GoDaddy has the tools to sell anything, anywhere. Start for free at GoDaddy.com slash sell. The redesigned Corona Slim can, named after yours truly. Slim is one of my old nicknames. You better ask somebody. Might as well call them Snoop Cans. You like that? The Golden State Warriors are NBA champions. Gear up with the official locker room collection. Available now at NBAstore.com. Get your commemorative NBA Finals men's, women's, and kids championship t-shirts. And the official hat. The same ones the players wear as they hoist the Larry O'Brien championship trophy. Plus other unique one-of-a-kind designs. Shop now and get today's special offer. NBAstore.com. A fanatics experience. Welcome back. 69-42 lead here. 253 to play in the third quarter. Indiana still in control. This is the joys that I love about Summer League. That normally, this is my first Summer League being on the broadcast side. So I normally get to see this at home, but the joys of Summer League is just going, GA going and asking. None other than one of the Fab Five, oh, my, Jalen Rose, who joined us. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Tell them what you, because we played together. Tell what what did you used to call What's my nickname? Wall Street, <laughs> no doubt. And, and, and by the way, a lot of uh, one thing that people don't know about this legend, this OG. I literally walked up here, saw you guys statue with Tark, LJ, Augman, my brother Anderson Hunt, I was yourself. With, I took him to play golf yesterday. Really? Yeah. That's love. I literally took a picture of it, and then I walked in here and saw you. Yeah, man. That's love, man. I appreciate what y'all brought to the game. Thank y'all very much for the influence y'all put on us. Ain't no Fab Five. Without the running rebels, I no was doubt just, about it. I was telling Megan how, like, the year we played Smitty at Michigan State, mm. we came to watch him play at Southwest. He put on a show for us, too. No he doubt. put on that was a love. show. That was love. I'm for like, us. oh, my goodness, y'all at the game. I had to represent. Yeah. And I, we saw you sitting there with, with, with the owner, and we were talking about how excited we are for this Pistons group. Like, getting Ivy to go along with Kate. I told Kate on air, I said, man, you know who you remind me of? You Grant Hill with a jump shot. Yes. I am not mad at that, G. And, and the thing is, his leadership, mm. 
See, you guys know this. There are going to be a lot of teams that play basketball this year, but not many of them are going to have an identity. Mm. And that's what I appreciate that Cade has brought to Detroit as an anchor, a future superstar. You're going to see it on the floor, but it's been refreshing for me to watch it off the floor. Going with the guys to the Hall of Fame to watch Ben Wallace be inducted. Yes going to the Celtics playoff games on the road just to get the atmosphere, being here at Summer League cheering on the guys and practicing really hard. That rolls over into the season. And so I'm really excited about this year, and I know um, Piston Brass is as well. When you look at, you know, that Pistons culture and what it does for the city, what do you think that this new group and this crop of young, hungry guys, because that's the one thing Cade said is that they're young, but they're hungry. What do you think their identity can be that could adapt the old culture and bring a new culture to the Detroit basketball? The old culture, just play hard. And the thing is, when the team plays hard, we'll look up at the score when the game is over. The, the fans and the city is going to rally behind a bunch of guys that we see that are doing their best on a nightly basis. And what has happened, a franchise like Detroit, we kind of get overlooked because we're not clearly in the pantheon of championships of like the Lakers and the Celtics. And we didn't, you know, have Michael Jordan win six championships for us or Tim Duncan win five. But when you start to look deeper into it and you get past the Golden State Warriors, like we have a storied history with the bad boys and Isaiah Thomas and Joe Dumars and then our bad boys two group with Chauncey Billups, Rip Hamilton and Ben Wallace. So those groups embody toughness and effort. And that blue-collar effort is something that the city always rallies around. Yeah, you, you talked about that. And, I, and and that's one reason why they're excited. You make a great point. I remember playing with the Knicks. It was a similar dynamic. Your, your team takes on the identity of your city. And Detroit is a blue-collar, hard-working, tough, mentally tough minded place and they want their team to reflect that and that's really what this young group they have and it starts with Dwayne Casey I don't think Dwayne Casey gets enough credit for the culture he's established because he made those guys accountable to get after it on that side of the ball absolutely but here's the thing Detroit has also stayed patient these last couple of years our owner Tom Gores didn't panic Troy Weaver our great GM didn't panic we kept Dwayne Casey. He was coach of the year in Toronto before he got to Detroit. So now you have a structure where they're all working together with Arm Telling to have an identity. And so when you draft a couple of players that feed it, Sadiq Bey had a 50-point game yeah. last year. Like Isaiah Stewart plays with as much effort as any player in the league. And so now you put those guys with Cade, and this year's draft was phenomenal. Like working the draft this year, I was so very proud of, you know, at Jay Nivey. Scoring playmaker that's going to get you 10 assists, get you a couple of steals. The other, it, like sometimes, and I know I'm, I, I turn into a hometown fan, the other day I was like, is that John Wall? No, that's Russell Westbrook. <laughs> no, you know what? That's John Morant. And, and that's the beauty of a player like that. And Jalen Duran, he's 18 yeah, GA. He's he, a special right, right, <laughs> Built like an atlas. Like I was like, is that a future of like Bam out of bio type of player? Ben Wallace type. Yeah, With and a so, little more offense. Yeah, it, it, correct. Yeah. And so like I'm really proud of this young group and our, the leadership of the team and what they've done, and the sky's the limit for our potential. Well, we want to thank you for joining us on the fly. Thank you. Appreciate the love. <laughs> Anything for my OG. You're the best. Man. Anything. You're love you, dog. I thank love you for this everything. Young man. You're a great representative, not only of the city of Detroit, but right. for our league. Thank man. you, family. Like you've done a lot of wonderful things. I know you've done a lot with your foundation. Yeah. I'm still waiting on my invite to the golf tournament. Hunt told me you had LJ showed up this I year. I would love for you to uh, come, come to the JRLA Golf Honor. We're having it. Uh, the August 24th I'm in there. Detroit City, I'm Detroit there. Golf Club. We'd love I'm for you there. guys to join us. We appreciate the salute. You got it, brother. August 24th, I know where I'll be. <laughs> Come and represent. <laughs> yeah. That's love. Hey, I'm from just over the border. Which way? Hamilton. Oh, no just doubt. Just over the okay. Canadian border. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with making trips to Detroit and Flint to play in uh, some, some women's basketball tournaments no doubt. against Bill Lambeer's daughter. Bill Lambeer, another physical legend. They only talk about our team like we play defense only. Like Detroit played offense. Bill Lambeer was an original stretch mark five. He's knocking down threes and giving hard fouls, G.A. We, the Pistons and the Nuggets were in the highest scoring game in the history of the NBA. Yeah. 88, 188, 184. Exactly. And I think three threes were made total that yeah. game. That we got up and down. Game. So I think this squad is going to 
really give us some a sense of pride and, and win some games, but also yeah. give back to the community. So I'm happy for this group. We appreciate your time once again, Jenison, and giving us that Detroit insight and Detroit love that Detroit people don't talk about a lot. Boss up. <laughs> what up, though? At the end of the third, 78-54 lead for the Pacers. They're in complete control here in Las Vegas at the Cox Pavilion. Excuse me. Stay with us. We've got the fourth quarter on the other side. A lot of people assume NBA players can reach anything. Just like they assume they can't afford great insurance. But State Farm has raced to fit any budget. Here you go. Thanks, John Quirrell. He's your master. Thanks, Mobile. Need me to reach anything else? No. Because I can reach it. For surprisingly great rates to fit any budget, like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. From the time you're born, a gland in your brain produces growth hormone. It's what makes you stay lean, build strong muscles, and feel energetic. Unfortunately, around the age of 20, your body starts producing less GH. And by the time you're in your 40s and 50s, it's much harder to stay energetic, lean, and build muscle. But what if there was a way to tell your body to get back to work and boost your GH levels again? Nugenics GH Boost uses an amino acid and botanical blend, clinically demonstrated to help your body boost its own GH levels more than 100%. Text MOTOR to 42424. To get your complimentary sample of Nugenics GH Boost, you'll get the boost you need to sculpt a stronger, leaner body that is sure to turn heads. Get back to work with Nugenics GH Boost. Text MOTOR to 42424 to get a complimentary sample of Nugenics GH Boost. Text now and we'll include a bottle of new Nugenics Thermo, our most powerful fat incinerator ever, to help you get back into shape fast. Text MOTOR to 42424. Welcome back, and while we just had that spirited conversation about the future of the Detroit Pistons, it's been all about the present for the Indiana Pacers. They have been a juggernaut in this game thus far, just completely dominating on both sides of the ball. And I tell you what, that young man right there, Isaiah Jackson, is turning into a problem. Just a live body and active and more than just a dunker and a shot blocker. That guy's got some skill. And Pacers starting front court, 48 points. Yeah. Well, but it, it, what I love about those five guys, and I say this about basketball time, you know, it's not about having the five best players. Right. It's about having the five players that play best together. And that's a lot of times. If you even go back to the Pistons teams when they had Chauncey and Rip, they weren't the most talented team. But they were the best team because of how they played for one another. And, and I think that's what they're trying to build culture-wise. And I tell you, I, I've been impressed with what this Pacers group. And you, you can hear it in Rick Carlisle's voice. He, oh, yeah. he was excited. Oh, yeah. And he told you, look, we needed to blow it up. And not only – a lot of times when teams blow it up, they have to blow it up again. Because it, it's really hard to do that. But they, I think, are heading in the right direction. I think they're trending. They're going to be a better de team defensively next year. And they're going to have to be because mm -hmm. everybody's getting better, which is, I think, healthy for our league. No doubt. Gabe York into the game, knocked down that three for Indiana. And coming right back the other way, Braxton Key for Detroit. Neesmith attacking. As we go over to Jason Dumas, he's with a very special guest. Yeah, guys, I'm with Morgan Bagley the third, and fresh off signing a new contract now, the very first day of free agency, you signed that deal. Did you ever consider exploring your options, or did you always know it was Detroit? Uh, no, nah, man, I, I feel like this is the best, the best situation for me. Uh, like I said before, I love the city, I love the fans. Um, you know, just being able to, to be in something where you can get better and develop, especially with the young group that we got, um, it's, it, was, it was easy for me. Um, so I, I wanted to come back and, and, and uh, do whatever I could to, to, to help the team. You talked about the team getting better and developing. What do you see your role as going forward on that roster and in the lineup? Oh, man, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to help the team. Um, you know, whatever uh, Coach Casey needs, um, you know, I'm just going to be ready. 
and just keep working. That's that's the big thing, the big the big uh, goal for me is just to keep getting better at my game, working on my craft, and contributing to the team uh, so we can win and, and get to the playoffs and, and get to our goals that everybody on this team want to get to. Now, Troy Weaver has completely rehauled this roster. There's not a single player on this team uh, that was on the roster two years ago. Uh, young guys, Kate Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, how excited are you to develop chemistry with those guys moving forward? I'm super excited. Um, I haven't got a chance to play with them yet. Um, but, you know, with watching them play, it's going to be fun. You know, I think they fit what we're trying to do. Um, get up and down, exciting team, throwing lives to each other. Uh, athletic, so uh, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to finally get to training camp. Uh, I'm sure after summer league we'll, we'll get together again as a, as a group and, and, and play, but uh, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And I know it's still early. You guys haven't played together much yet, but do you think playoffs is a realistic goal for you guys next year? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, that's that's on everybody's mind. No, we're, not, we're not coming to just play around you know we're coming to, to, to you know accomplish our mission and that's to get to the playoffs and just continue to win games and build something special in Detroit all right Marvin thank you for joining us guys you heard it they're looking to get to a playoff run next year it's so crazy Jay, when you think back to that 2018 draft number one DeAndre Aiden who we don't know where he may be start of the season Number two, obviously, Bagley the third was drafted there. Number three, Luka Doncic. Luka the Don. How about Jared Jackson at number four? Yeah. And then rounding out the top five, Trey Young. Yeah. That's a pretty good draft. <laughs> uh, I, I think you're looking at several Hall of Famers potentially moving forward from that. So that, that bodes well for that draft. A lot of hot top-end talent when you look back at that draft. And, and listen, I, I like what you're hearing from everybody around the Pistons. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're supposed to feel like they can. you, you got to have that belief. I mean, I really feel like they could be a team that competes for the play-in, mm-hmm. which is, in essence, the playoffs. So, yep. like, that's that's where they're – and that's the approach you got to take. And, and that's the kind of goals you want to set for a young group. And I'll be honest with you, the way they got after defensively, their physical group, if they can continue to improve offensively, I think they're going to have a chance. They're going to be good enough defensively. If they can keep improving on that side of the ball, I think that group has got a really bright future. Jimmy Beheim into the game getting a score. Both Beheim brothers on this Pistons team. And we talked about it with Coach Carlisle when he gave us the insight on the ratification of the transition take foul. And then you toss it out there to get Jared Greenberg to let us know what the Jared situation was. It, man. Jared, and he's on it. Dude. So it will be one free throw and the ball will be the punishment for the transition take. And any player on the court yeah. can take that free throw. So shout out to, to Jared Greenberg for letting us know. Yeah, that's great information. And, and, and it is a great uh, rule implementation for the league. I, I do because it's like – even though this is about being competitive and trying to win championships, we're also in the business of entertaining. Yes. And a lot of times, uh, some of the most impressive plays and momentum-changing plays happen in the open floor. And so now not having those eliminated potentially, I think, bodes well and could speed up the game. Jalen Duran exercising his leaping ability on that play. 6.25 to go here in the fourth, and 89-63 lead for Indiana. You know, the Pacers in control, but Pistons still fighting. When moderate to severe ulcerative colitis persists, put it in check with Rinvoke, a once-daily pill. When UC got unpredictable, I got rapid symptom relief with Rinvoke. Check. When UC held me back, I got lasting steroid-free remission with Rinvoke. 